Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another accessories review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, this is my fourth video on Kingdom Galvatron. I am definitely getting my money's worth on videos with this figure here. And the subject of this video is a brand new upgrade set for this figure from my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Larkin's Lair. My set arrived in this nice black bubble envelope. Open this up, and inside we've got the accessories in a little plastic baggie, and what you get is a black rifle for Galvatron, just in case you didn't know the original Generation 1 toy, if I can get him all in shot, which I can't, came with a black rifle. And by God, Larkin hit the nail on the head with that. That is like a perfect replica of OG Galvatron's gun. So you've got the black rifle here. You also have, let me get these out, Got some little purple pieces here. Okay, we've got these sections right here, these pieces right here. These are fillers for Galvatron's wrists. If you're familiar with the figure, he's got this gap right here that you can actually see all the way through. So he's got those fillers there and these little plugs that go in the shoulders. Now my Galvatron, I have done the shoulder fix on him, but a lot of folks, instead of worrying about breaking their figure, they just flip the shoulders around where the pinholes are facing forward. And of course, you've got the glaring chrome pins right there. So let's go ahead and see what these little pinholes look like. They actually have a little sculpted detail right there. It's a little slot, kind of looks like what's here on the front of the shoulder. So let's see, let's get this pegged in. These are tiny. There we go, it's actually a nice tight fit. So there's one, and where did it go? There it is. Here is the other. That one's, these are hard to get in, and, and I dropped it. All right, let's try this again. Fortunately, it didn't go in the floor. If it went in the floor, I might have to shoot this video tomorrow. So get in there. There we go. Nice, tight fit. I may need to go in and kind of take a little screwdriver and twist those to where the little gap or the slot is facing the same direction. Got a little bit of plastic filament still attached right there, but that doesn't look too bad. Of course, if you like to peg in the tank treads on the back, it's not going to work. But that, I believe, is mainly for those who don't want to do the shoulder fix. Next up, we have the gap fillers for the wrist. And these are actually really cool how they work. You can utilize them in robot mode, of course. And they can be stored when you transform Galvatron into his cannon. Now they do come as a left and a right. So we'll start off with the left arm first. Just turn the arm where you can see the gap. And then you're going to take this section right here. You got that little handle. Make sure the handle goes inside and just kind of slot that into place. And there you go. That looks so much better. And it's still see through, but it looks great there. I mean, it's not near as bad as it was. Go ahead and put in the other one. Super simple, just make sure the handle goes on the inside and just press it in. And there we go. And Larkin, that is a great collar match on those. Now for transformation, 
how it works is you're going to take the little peg out and then kind of angle the fist a little bit so you can get the handle in so it's like that. The panel is actually going to cover Galvatron's fingers and just bring this around. Let's see. Actually, I'm sorry. It covers the back of his hand. Now fold it in, and there you go. So you can transform Galvatron into his cannon mode once you lock the shoulders in like so. And as you can see, doesn't affect transformation at all. I dig it. These are really cool. Good job, Larkin. And lastly, we have Galvatron's gun. I'm going to bring in the original gun so we can compare. Look how spot on that is. Larkin, you did a fantastic job. A little bit more detail on the new one, and that's awesome. I also see right there, it does have a blast effect peg. So let's go ahead and give this to Galvatron. Oh, first, I want to point out, look how good and smooth that looks. Of course, it's 3D printed. It does have the lines, but it's not bad. It looks really, really good. Once again, Larkin, kudos. So put that in Galvatron's hand. Now he has his rifle, and he's looking very, very Generation 1. And, of course, now there he is with one of Rodimus Prime's blast effects in his rifle. That looks so good. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Larkin's Lair for this Galvatron upgrade kit. I love the gun and the gap fillers for the forearms are great. The plugs for the pins, I'm not going to really utilize them myself, but I think those would be perfect for someone who doesn't want to do the shoulder fix. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these Galvatron upgrade kits yourself, I'm going to put a link to Larkin's Etsy page in the description below. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! 10,000 by TFCon.